All right, just got to the airport. I was set to go to Cleveland. Back to Cleveland. Gonna be on a radio show. Got some good stuff coming. So y'all stay tuned. Tish dropped me off at the Nashville airport. So gonna miss Tish. But this vlog is only me today. Only me this weekend. But all right, we headed out to Cleveland by y'all. City, you got the Huntington Bank building, three skyscrapers, you got the Caval, the Caval, oh. you got the, uh, <laughs> the Q over here, um, and then you got the progressive field where the Cavs and the Indians play. Hey. Got traffic right now, it's all right. <laughs> I feel like I'm on a documentary right now. <laughs> Inside the life with Michael Cole. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Michael Copeland, the look, incredible. You want, you want the inside life? Michelle got to be here for the crying. Uh, Mr. Incredible himself. Man, Mr. Humbled and I will not be here without the good Lord. Yes, sir. Um, Amen, brother. Like, you a rock star. You listen. I'm like, listen. I'm you are. Humble. Your work, so. I wouldn't be nothing. I can't do nothing. Have nothing without God. See the hands over there? That's, that's me. Uh, uh. This man's gonna be a whole celebrity out here. Oh my God! It's Michael Copeland. Oh Lord, mercy! <laughs> nah, I ain't gonna, man. It's Shit, Michael man. Copeland. Look, whoever the good Lord has called me to be, man, he wants me to do a radio show. Hey. I'm going to do this right now because this came out of nowhere, like literally. So this is, remember this is part of y'all's first video. Yeah. I came down here at night. All right. Trade the ace. <laughs> we riding. Hey, yeah, the song went it's with like, the, the song like, went with the. Uh, I'm getting ready to go to Cleveland to a boy Mike. <laughs> Come on, walk, girl. Walk, girl. <laughs> I'm walking. I'm walking. <laughs> I said, Tish, you like, I said, dang, Trey, you said Tish was going fast enough. She was trying to keep up. She was like, you, you like, man, just shut up. You got fed. You got to shut up. Shut up. Just shut up. <laughs> just shut up. <laughs> you told us to shut up because she wasn't walking fast enough for you. It wasn't like that. <laughs> it was not like that. That's weird, bro. That, that looks so fun. That was a fun. That was my favorite part of the video. <laughs> like, you got to shut up. Shut up. <laughs> just end it. Uh, uh, crazy, man. No, we just play like that. <laughs> I just be playing with it. I know, but it's y'all hilarious, man. Y'all, y'all funny. Man, you gotta off the land. 
Right. I know y'all miss LeBron. Or uh, maybe not. Yes, but guess what? We are happy to get Delhi, Deladova, and guess what he's doing for us? You know what that is? Yeah. Okay. Guess what he's doing for us? What's that? He is he has offered to start a book club at my school. Wow. Where he's he's going to come, him wow. and his wife are coming himself to do a homework diner on October twenty fourth. Wow. So he's going to be there with our kids, with with our kids, and, it, and it, for the launch of his new book. Uh, more com more details to come. What's on his? That. Uh, more, uh, more details to come yeah, on that. I don't okay. know yet. But um, but basically, I do know it's about helping kids. And he's telling his story. I know it's something in that regard. And so anyway, he wants to start the book club at our school. So he's coming to do this nice homework diner. Him and his wife are coming to our school on the twenty fourth, and that'll be the launch of it. And so it's going to be in my group with hundred black men. It'll be in Mike Mathis' group. We're going to have those kids reading the book. And we're also gonna have girls on the run read the book. So, Man. touching the uh, that's so dope. Males and females between fourth and eighth grade. That's so dope, bro. You out here making moves, Mike. Listen, I didn't know nothing. <laughs> listen, I uh, <laughs> God. Oh, uh, glory, to God, man. I'm telling you. Like, just he has to, been let me tell you, God, in our lives. God has divine favor because let me tell you, just the other, just last week. <laughs> Uh, through an Uber ride, one of our church partners, one of their parishioners, um, he's an Uber driver, and he happened to just Uber drive for one of the one of the cast members for the Lion King, and so the so Lion King the play was in Cleveland performing last week. You know they travel around the country performing, and so they had to be in Cleveland. They happened to have school supplies for over 50 kids. They want this man who was Uber driving happens to be working in our neighborhood. He said. Can they come to mound? And uh, so wow, the Lion bro. King casting crew last Monday came to mound, spoke to our second through fifth graders, and donated school supplies to our third graders. I've seen our that. Third grade. I've seen that. And the reason we, we had to pick third grades because, you know, of all grades, that's the grades where they, they do a lot of testing. They got a third grade guarantee. It's an important year for students. So we decided the school supply, all the school supplies should go to them. But we do have school supplies, period, that we've gotten from generous donors over the summer that, that we can get other students. So when we was at church last Sunday, um, me and Tish, we had went back with the youth church. Mm -hmm. And just, just to get like a, like just to see how they do things as mm -hmm. far as stuff. Mm -hmm. And so when we came back into the church and sat back like in our seat, it was a woman, didn't even know her. She was like, uh, what, what y'all got planned like after church? Y'all getting some food or something? I was like, we was like, we going to Memphis, and um, she was like, well, here, uh, take this uh, to get y'all something to eat or whatever. It was twenty dollars, and I was just like, wow, because there's somebody that you don't even know mm -hmm. that just had God was moving in her life. She blessed him. So guess what happened? So after church, one of my cousins had asked another one of my cousins uh, for twenty. I mean, for six dollars. And it, it rung in my head. I was like, that's it, that's God. That's the sign for me to give the $20 to her. Mm -hmm. And she needed it. And she was like, thank you, like, so much. See? And, uh, but yeah, just things like that, where you see it now, like, I see it now. It was I see when he when he wants you to be a blessing now. It was funny. And it I happened. I covered, I forget what bill I covered. I covered somebody's bill at the, at the gas station or um, a restaurant, I forget where it was at. Uh, this, was a, this was like some months ago before Michelle was born. And anyway, that ne that following Saturday, I went to breakfast with my dad at a restaurant, yours truly. And um, it came time for the rest to get the bill uh, paid. I'm like, come the tab. Oh, um, the lady next to you already paid for it. We're like, what? Some random lady who we don't know paid for me and my dad you know what i'm saying so i'm so so i do see what you mean i was like that's so the same thing happened to me it was like and because, it's contagious. because I, I i did something for somebody else god automatically just repaid me and my dad you know what i'm yes, saying yes it comes back it comes though. back you know what i'm saying like two people so look after that not, it, it don't stop right there so after church you know i i did that after church we go to my grandma's house because i ain't seen her in a minute and i've been trying to see her so we talking to catch up or whatever. She like, you want some chicken? I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, 
because uh, me and Tish, we had been like trying to do like a, a diet or whatever for me. And so I'm like, ah, I can't turn down no chicken. <laughs> No. <laughs> and so, and so I'm like, yeah, yeah, we can get some chicken. She went out. She like, she going to Hawaii like blessings. Like we go to uh, to Food Giant get some chicken. And then she Food like, Giant. yeah. Then she like, y'all want some bread? Like, she like overwhelmingly just trying to bless us, bro. That's and then like she like paper plates, paper towels, <laughs> <It's everybody. laughs> And so what we did, we ate some of the chicken and then went back to Memphis. And handed it out to homeless, to homeless people on the street. Wow, yeah, nice, nice. and it's it's amazing because when you when they see it, they like their eyes just go light like, up. Yes, and like yes, and you know, hungry. That's actually a safe and better way to serve the homeless versus giving them money. Not to say yes. that giving the money is wrong. You know, what I'm saying I still, if I don't have anything on me, I at least give a couple dollars or whatever I need to. Uh, so, uh, oh, big money, again? Mike. All right, over there, that's the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Um, and then uh, you got the Science Center, which is next door to that, which is a little low ball thing. And then um, next to the Science Center is uh, First Energy Stadium, which is where the Cleveland Browns play. Yes, sir. So we know Odell got hurt this week. I'm not sure how that happened, but we're still hoping for and praying for a good season. Yeah. All right, this is the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. So my mom was on the board. Uh, Key Bank Foundation, they made it possible for this place, which was very expensive at one point, for every Cleveland resident to go here for free. For real? Yep. Wow. But you have to live in the city of Cleveland. Like the suburbs don't count. <laughs> but the people who, who really couldn't afford it now can come for free. You gonna take my pictures? Yeah. yeah I've been this is built when I was in third grade. Is that where you went? I had my third grade birthday party here. That's where you went to the, uh, take them, the kids? No, it's just something else. We went to NASA, that's by the airport. We could have oh. we could have seen that. Well, not much to really see, because you gotta get clearance. You really wouldn't see much from the, just driving past the, the Cleveland Brown Stadium. So we have our Alpha Derby too during the spring. Hilton Hotel, that big, that glass hotel, it was built, well, unfortunately it was built because uh, we had we had the Republican convention here the year Trump got elected. But um, it's, it's getting, uh, it's a great hotel, and uh, at some point in time this weekend we're going to it, and we're gonna go to the, the top floor and, and eat at Bar 32. Hey. And so you get a glass view and scenery of Cleveland. Hey. So that's on the horizon this weekend. Bet. Yeah. That's lit. All right, that's the marina. It's also one of my favorite places to go. You, you've you've often Facetime me here, You're right? And so I, I wanted to see, you actually see it in person. But yeah, this is where I go to chill out after work. Yeah, or after a long day, or whatever. And this is where I get to find my peace of mind, talk to God, whatever. You know. Yeah. I'll sit right here, or even back there, whatever. So I just want to say how thankful I am. Just, just thanking God for so much stuff that He's done for me. Thanking God for um, just being able to fly to Cleveland. Like I got people that's willing to do stuff for me. Yeah, you got the marina. You got the restaurant over there. Is that the Rockefeller, like the big thing? Oh wow. Yeah, it's a very historic part of Cleveland, you know what I'm saying? I know a person like you appreciates, you know, what East City has. Right. You know, so it's got like a lot of names and the city the city greenhouses over here and they've done they like got different countries represented and different flowers and stuff. And so you got like a lot of cool stuff like cool stuff like that. Like cool arts artsy stuff like that. So like you got that boat bowl over there. You got these people over here. <laughs> these people. <laughs> I'm See, you know, Serbian. You know, like each of these, like, it's like represents a, a different country.
Cleveland Museum of Art. Cleveland Museum of Art. This shall be interesting. Big Mike. My name is Michael Cooper. <laughs> Coming up next. <laughs> Stay tuned. Alright, John, so we got a few stuff in here. same pink driveway. This is the house that we grew up in and got thrown out of, evicted from. This is where it all started. This is where it all started. And now to have a, now to come full circle to have a house similar to this right. in Cleveland Heights, same, right. same, same city. <laughs> this is just the other side of Cleveland Heights. Full circle. Stripes. It's a bowling alley over here. Wow, it's a nice bowling alley. Wanna go bowling while you're here? Let me know. Sure, we can. I'm down. All right, y'all. So today is the big day. Today we be on the radio. This is actually Mike's first episode of the Michael Copeland Educational Hour. So, and he brought me on as a guest. I am honored. Tune in, 1490 AM, 2 to 3 PM. Appreciate y'all. Yeah, I heard it. Mike Copeland. The famous Mike Copeland. <laughs> Alright, speak it. team right here in Cleveland, Ohio. Life Obstacles 1490 AM Radio. We, we are live every Saturday from 2 to 3 p.m. So join us soon. If you're not able to join us, make sure you, it's other ways you can join us, okay? I'm all human. Right. I made some errors. Y'all gonna be all right. So <laughs> <Exactly>. anyway, right. <laughs> we are human. We like free flowing here. Right. So you can join us at NewsTalkCleveland.com or you can point on your radio dial to 1490 AM. And we are the Life Obstacle Team. You can catch us at www.lifeobstacles.org. We are community partners, collaborative partners. We work well with others. Join us. 
Learn how we help you move from problems to solutions because we are the Lightbox Good Team. Yes, what you got to say this night? Hey! <laughs> <laughs> you already got your on tape. You gonna get your on tape. You already got your on tape. Yes. <laughs> 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 the famous Michael Cope. <laughs> 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 I don't like what kids talk about. Are you about talking? Don't call up here because nobody talks. It ain't fake for. Right. Hey, keep trying me and have a conversation. Hope y'all tuned in. Hope y'all enjoy my boy. Good job, man. Good job today. Fun. Thank y'all. Got Miss Jerry. He's coming out. <laughs> and he's getting the dip. He's coming out. I don't know where we at, Mike. Alright, we are at the new uh, new It's um, been around a couple years, but pretty much still new Hilton uh, Hotel, downtown Cleveland on the next side. Getting ready to head to Bar 32. Getting ready to have a nice little scenery up there. City at night. Yes, sir. <laughs> So we wrapping up Cleveland. This was a beautiful, beautiful weekend. I got a lot, learned a lot. My mentor Mike, he has just touched my life incredibly, and um, he is the famous Mr. Michael Cook. And y'all give him a hand, man. Mike, how you feel about this weekend? Like, a good weekend. I'm glad uh, that. Uh, a lot of exposure and <clears throat> a lot of experiences were given and received and the good word we got today. It's been it's definitely been a blessed and wonderful weekend. So what is like what is one thing that you took out of this weekend that has that has helped you <laughs> in your life? Uh, to remember, just to just remember to step out, and experience different things, especially things you haven't done in a while, like going to those different places, you know, that I haven't been to in a long time, you know, the place we went to yesterday, um, and just, uh, just, you know, being obedient, you know. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We, hey, I, I felt a whole bunch, I felt a lot of obedience, you know, just being able to listen to what God is saying to you and, and to do it on time, like right when he's telling you to do it, like you gotta get to that point. Uh, it's like people don't see that. And like with blessings, like we got, when we have each other, we continue to bless each other. Like, like a friendship, a real friendship, they gonna do anything they can to like take care of their friend have they back and that's that was, that's definitely Michael Cope the famous Michael Cope <laughs> Mike Copeland man thank you appreciate you it's been love it's been love can't wait to come back again all right we headed to the airport y'all so I had a way over in Atlanta for about three three hours now I'm headed to Nashville. 